When it's 10 years, and I'm looking what would be our, our theme for 10 years, and, and God said celebration. Oh, wow, celebration. I actually didn't have full understanding what celebration was, but as time was getting close to 10 years, I, I kind of was having a flashback from people that had, had had strong impact in church. There were some people that not known, and some people are known, and um, there were people that won my heart for their passion for, for, for God. One was Uchi, I mentioned her, that she, she pioneered our, our fellowship for how to cheese in the mother's home. She had cancer. We really believed God for her. We believed God. She was one of the people that we were praying for to get married, and she got married. Her testimony was very sound. God healed her of cancer, but eventually, she, she had to be with the Lord. Another sister also was in a fellowship, her name was Choma, also very passionate about God. She had so much faith. So work took her to America. She too was sick. And I remember when I when we go and see her, she will be reading quoting scripture of faith. You see, Pastor G, nothing God cannot do, you know, and all that, you know. And they loved God, really, really loved God. She had passed. Then my administrator of Bandi, Uncle Elkun, was really very close to me. And um, with my family, because after the first administrator left, she was the one that was there for almost like close to nine years. To lose someone like that was a very hard, a very hard blow. So 10 years for me would have been a very emotional period. So when God said celebration, it was, is my mind wasn't counting all the good things God had done. My mind was, was counting the kind of, not defeat, but what look like losses as against the large, the larger picture. People God has raised, people he has healed, you know. In the past 10 years, God has done so many things, so many miracles. We, we have um, a healing service, different strange miracles, different strange deliverances. But approaching 10 years, I, I didn't remember any of them. The one that comes to my mind uh, were the with the one that looked like a blow. So when God said celebration, that was a word God used to realign my mind that as a church, you have much more to thank God for. There's a grace upon in your house and that grace is just starting. In this season, presidents will come out from the new house. Not just presidents, pillars, leaders of industries. Industries, when I say leader of industry, I'm not saying that you'll be a leader in Nigeria. God will so lift you up, lift your industry up, that your industry will be a global one where nations will know you, even though you are in Nigeria. A, an oil of greatness is one of the mantle that's upon the new house. In whatever you are doing, wherever you are, in any part of the world, greatness, it will pick you from where you are to where you are supposed to be. Ideas that will blow your mind, creative ideas, favor like you have never seen. God is about to position you with kings and about to give you a voice and give you wisdom that you have never thought about. Men will be able to look for you and they'll say, where did you come from? And you tell them, I'm from a new house. Excellent spirit will rest upon you because of the money of the new house. I celebrate with you in the next 10 years. It will be 10 years of quantum leaps. What you will achieve in the next 10 years will be what men achieve in 100 years. In the name of Jesus, get ready. Heaven is on our side. And that's why this season is celebration. Is your celebration, is my celebration. Happy 10 years of making Jesus real and appealing to our generation. It's been 10 years of making Jesus real. 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 10 solid years of making Jesus real. 10 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 years of making Jesus real. It's been 10 amazing years of making Jesus real.